So Internet Computer ICP has performed like an absolute beast in the past couple of hours, actually breaking above resistance at 15.5 US dollars. However, this breakout was short lived because right after that we saw ICP have a sharp price reversal that brought us back to the downside, which is primarily caused by the Bitcoin price flash crash. So if you're unaware, Bitcoin just recently had a flash crash and this took the entire crypto altcoin market down with it. Now, I believe that this um, this flash crash has happened to, of course, shake the paper hands out so that um, big institutions like BlackRock could buy in for it cheaper before the Bitcoin um, spot ETF. So right now we're going to be analyzing the price action, reveal to you guys my current expectations and also the important levels to look out for. So without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight into the charts. So I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird today. It's because I am very, very sick right now. So I may have voice cracks as I speak throughout this video. So please bear with me, but let's begin. So yeah, for the past couple of hours, ICP has actually broken above um, resistance at $15.5. So this is very, very bullish. However, again, um, we did not see ICP hold resistance as support and we had a sharp reversal that's, that brought us back to the downside. So right now I'll be mentioning the three, um, the three important key levels of support to look out for if we do see ICP continue the dump further towards the downside. So yeah, the first um, level to look out for is the recent swing low at around... 12.8 us dollars i'm expecting 12.8 us dollars to support the price if we do ever um bounce back to that level however if we do see icp break below the swing low then the next support level is the previous um swing high we had right here at around 11.4 or 11.3 us dollars and then the next support level is the vwap <clears throat> is a vwap at 10 Point three dollars and the next support which is a support zone is at um is from 9.9 .9 .9 until nine dollars so those are all the support levels to look out for if you do see icp continue to dump to the downside because i actually have a, a warning right now for the icp internet computer price if you guys take a look at the four hourly time frame we have actually formed a bearish divergence the price has formed a higher high right here while the rsi has formed a lower high <clears throat> a lower high sorry about that a lower high in again the rsi so this is um a bearish divergence and it's it is showing that icp is losing strength and is losing momentum so a bearish divergence is usually indicative of a short-term pullback so for the short term we may see icp have a pullback um towards any of the support levels which i have mentioned we can see a um, um a pullback down to 12.8 dollars and have a bounce from there and move towards um move above resistance break above it and flip it to support or we could see icp dive down even lower towards the following support levels which is the previous swing high the vwap <clears throat> and the previous um support zone again please bear with me if i'm having voice cracks because i'm sick but um let's talk about the bullish case right now so if we do see icp in the coming days have a break above resistance at 15.5 dollars and flip this to support we could see icp move towards our next target which is 22.6 us dollars now this is updated i have added this new resistance zone because in my previous video <clears throat> i haven't added this so if you guys take a look at the weekly time frame there is a little bit of resistance at around 22.6 dollars until 24.3 dollars so if you do see icp in the coming days um break above resistance at 15.5 dollars and flip this to support we could move to the next resistance at around 22.6 us dollars but for now in the short term there's a high chance we could see icp have a pullback now we have actually seen icp already touched the first um pullback target which is a 12 which is 12.9 dollars so from here we could either see icp um reverse and continue continue the move to the upside 
or we could still continue even deeper towards the following support levels because again we have formed a bearish divergence in the four hourly time frame which is usually indicative of a short-term pullback so just be aware of this but that is the quick update drop like subscribe if you enjoyed and all of my links are in the description